first came to Los Angeles, it looked like just this mass of dots. All jumbled and disconnected. It was pretty disorienting. White zone is for the immediate loading and unloading. So how would guys say that? No, I'm serious, dude. Oh, really? It's too bad. Because I'm amazing. I don't like to brag, but I can suck the engine block to the tailpipe of a 58 Chevy. Really? Yeah, I'm talking about the big ones with the 380s. Oh. So you know cars? Yeah. And beer. See, unlike with women, you can crack one open right after hell. You could have one during. It can just be a little fun between buddies, you know. And you'll never have to call me. Until you're up for another round, that is. Oh! about Elizabeth coming in. Elizabeth, my roommate is Julie. I'm here for a date with Elizabeth. Elizabeth is 243D, as in down the walk. This is 243B, as in blowjob. You're not straight curious from AOL? No. Not again. Oh, oh, shut <laughs> up! You are so lying to uh -oh. me. Check the journal. Look. September 20th. Oh my god. That is so funny. <laughs> so maybe you should write a song about that. Mm. I can't believe you're almost done with your demo and you haven't written a song about your best friend. Yeah, I can't believe that the tree falls in the forest, it wouldn't have something to do with you. Hey, Jay. Martinis, vodka, or gin? Gin, and you, you could tell that friend of yours to go fuck himself. You know, I only have one friend who can actually do that, and I doubt you met. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, the bass no, player. No, no, no. We were just supposed to lay down some tracks. By the no, second no, 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 song, no, no, it was no, like my bra had grown hands. Excuse me, wannabes, order up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. one callback. She's Margot Channing. Second Channy. callback, thank you. Second lead in the feature. I am so getting this. Soon I can kiss you losers goodbye and finally justify moving to this miserable fucking town. You ever make a Barry Wolf? Ooh. Hey, why are we skipping on the fries? Come on, load me up. Barry Wolf read me once for this commercial. He was licking me with his eyes the whole time. They don't call him the wolf who cried boy for nothing. You know, he wouldn't even see me for that crappy TV wacky gay neighbor thing. What's that about? I'm gay. I'm wacky. Maybe you're not neighborly. Fuck you. I'm down to read on a stick. <laughs> Excuse me, darlings. I hate to interrupt this important discussion between all you big stars. I'll settle for medium star. Quite well taken. In the meantime, I hear that Disney's opening a Fantasia restaurant where the plates fly themselves to the tables. Until then, what to do? Hot stuff coming through. Yes. Guys. I'm taking one of my tracks to do the karaoke at Funny Boy. Actually, also two for one margaritas. I'll be there.
where you called me? Where did we end up last night? I don't know, but I woke up without my bra. That's never a good sign. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. So, why are you calling me and not just tiptoeing across the hall with sympathy and Excedrin? I tried that. I thought she's gone. Spin class is starting. Oh, oh fuck. Wait, hold up. We've met. Um, no, I'm brand new here. Hey, Green, let's get a move on, huh? Gotta go. Oh, I'm back. Final bell. Harmon is down. Hey, Gilford, why don't you come over here and give me a back rub, huh? Wrong tree. Barking. You think I'm rubbing your pimply back, you homo. David, come on, Green. You help a guy out, right? Yeah, stuff to put away. Come on, Gil. Just like 10 minutes. You know I'd give you one. You're on. No, 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 I asked you first. Nope. Ah, that hurts. Prepare <laughs> to die, dude. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> you, uh, you remember me from across the way? Yeah. Harmon, I brought you guys a welcome to the complex sixer. Uh, thanks, but we don't drink. <laughs> what kind of frat boys are you? Who called up the liver effect? Jeez, oh, Ryder, how's about a ladder? I can probably hear you. I don't care. You see those flipping shorts he was wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Just check that. Check okay, that three of these. There was the most adorable man, Daniel, here this evening. I thought I might introduce you. Really? Mm. Blue shirt, under the bar? Actually, yes. Daniel, we've met. August 3rd, I believe. Yep. Uh, not so good. Not so good. <sighs> Andrew, can I have a glass of that mellow there? Sure thing. And Ben called for you, Miss Ann? Well, I suppose if he calls this late in the week, I can call him this late in the evening, right? Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 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 you guys want to hear something freaky? You remember those four people that moved into Elizabeth's old apartment? Guess what they do? Quadruplet porn stars. This no. town hardly freaky. The rodeo clowns. No, 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 no. Listen, it's even weirder than that. They are Mormon missionaries. Swear to God. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, the rodeo clowns would have been kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> they must have loved your aberrant lifestyle. I dated a Mormon guy once. His family put him through shock therapy. We'd have sex, he was a wild man. Then he'd want to throw himself out the window. What? So you live on the first floor? Yes, but it's hell on my azaleas. <laughs> <laughs> now, wouldn't it be funny if you converted them instead of them converting you? Could you imagine? No, I've seen these boys. They're wound way too tight for that. I bet he can't do it. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Are we betting here? Same as always, five and a six, sir. Oh, no, this is big. 20 bucks says you can't. We're going high stakes? 50 says he can't. I've seen the guys on the bikes. I'm thinking this time you have met your match. Really? Bullshit. 50 says he can, and I bust tables for a week. 50, two weeks, can't. Oh, OK, I I'm in with Andrew. No way. Oh, cool. We on? All right, so what are we talking about here? I get him to what? Do anything? Blow job or? We need proof. Okay, underwear. I knew this other Mormon guy in the army. They got these sacred boxes. They shimmer. Get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> sacred undies? Get out of here. I've got to see this. All right, I'm in. I get one of those boys out of his underwear. Seal the deal. All right, we going out tonight? Oh, please, not another episode of Christian Hooks Up. Hey, I've got to get my skills honed. Mm -hmm. Two skills. <laughs>
Hey. hey. Leaving? Yeah, yoga. You? Mm, arm day. Mm. Hey. You know what? I don't think we've met. I'm Julie Taylor. Hi. Hi. I'm Elder Davis. So, uh, what you reading there? I'm just studying, you know. I thought I'd come outside, because I'm from Idaho. It gets cold in October. Oh, well, bummer. It's pretty much like this all the time here. Isn't it, Chris? Yeah. So, uh, what is it that you guys do? Uh, we talk to people about our church. Oh, really? Chris likes to talk to people. Sometimes it helps people find meaning in their lives. Julie was complaining her life is void of meaning. Void? I said void? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe we could come talk to you. You know, we would like that. Sure. Okay. Bye. Subtle. Yeah. I got 50 riding on you. See what works. Thank God she's leaving. Can you believe Entertainment Weekly called her the new sweetheart of American cinema? That cunt? She made Julie take my table because she thought I hadn't bathed recently. <laughs> like she should talk. Did you see her eat? Yeah. Did you check out her legs? Now I don't know why they call them calves. I bet after sex she smokes a ham. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, give me a glass of cuvee. <clears throat> I do hope we're not speaking disparagingly about our clientele. Gossip is so ignoble. Especially regarding those less fortunate. Less fortunate, that bitch? You know something, tell. No, I would never tell tales such as... With the frequency she does it, the poor child must think the binging and purging are aerobic exercise. Oh. <laughs> she hardly looks bulimic. Yes, if I were a different sort, I'd suggest a little more of the purging, a little less of the binging. But I would never say such things. For gossip is the lowest form of discourse. We should avoid it, if at all possible. Here, here. I shall be in the office, cooking the books, if anybody needs me. Oh, and Ben called. He seemed kind of insistent. Do you suppose Lila's hiding a boyfriend from us? Fucking skank, that's not a tip, that's an indictment. Take it down, Jay Christ, who pissed in your Cheerios? Some A&R guy. She has drinks with this guy, so he'll listen to her demo, and now she fears for her virtue. Hey. He's totally cute. I bust my ass making a great demo. I can't get anyone to listen to it till this guy, who so obviously just wanted to fuck me. Poor baby. I thought he was cute. What, you would have sex to help your career? Honey, I'd blown a guy just to get him out of my apartment. <laughs> sex for my career would be noble. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I'm not ready to make that kind of decision yet. I have to go. Okay, I'll call. Here's Andrew's wine order. Thank you. Is there something else? Everyone thinks Ben is your boyfriend. It's not, he's, he's a doctor, isn't he? Is everything okay? Young man, I will not be the subject of gossip in my own establishment. Sorry. And that's how, through Joseph Smith, God restored the true church of Jesus Christ to the earth. Have any questions? <clears throat> how come if God talks to Joseph Smith, he's a prophet, but if God talks to me, I'm schizophrenic? Uh, well, he was sort of special. What's the Mormon church's stand on black people? That's a good question. Um, African-American members have been allowed to hold the priesthood since 1978. Since disco. And women? Women don't get to hold the priesthood. What they get is to be wives and to be mothers and share in its blessings. Oh, huh. sharing. See? Sharing is good. Christian here was wondering, what is your church's stand on gay rights? Um, well... There's no such thing. Gay and right don't belong in the same sentence. Oh, but right and right wing go hand in hand. Yeah, God hates homos. You're gonna come into my house and tell me God hates homosexuals? And the French. God hates the French. Everybody hates the French.
Oh, you are such a sweetheart for doing that. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma, you're flashing the whole terminal. I can't help but If I don't, they're going to end up around my knees. <laughs> oh, I am losing the only other sane one around here. I think this belongs to you now, son. You do us proud. Yes, sir. I will. Now, you have yourself a real safe trip, okay? Oh, for crying out loud, I wasn't going to do this. I promise. Because if you start, I will. I know, but I can't help it because you're my baby, you know? And you always will be. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Look, if there's a problem, I could come back. Look, maybe I'm just homesick. Homesick? For Idaho? <laughs> okay, fine. But I'm sorry. That came out wrong. I. It's just when I left home, just zoomed like a rocket, you know. But if you've never been away from home before, have you? What? Uh, I've been away from home. Just not for two whole years. Could be worse. Could be raining. That's young Frankenstein. Yeah. So two years, huh? Whew. Yeah. We're not allowed to call or go home on the holidays, and they're not allowed to visit. Wow. Where do I sign up? Hey. I happen to like my family. After all, a boy's best friend is his mother. Psycho. That's Psycho, right? <laughs> she goes a bit mad sometimes. We all go a bit mad sometimes. <laughs> At least you got your friends here, right? What, Ryder? No. We just got assigned to each other a few weeks ago. Oh. Well, better you than me. Kind of a funny coincidence, all you guys being named Elmer, huh? Elmer? You think I'm an Elmer? What, you're not? No. Doofus. No. It's Elder. It's a title. Elder. Oh, that's a good thing. Somebody naming you Elmer. Oh, it's just mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your first name, then? Uh, we're not allowed to use them. What? <laughs> Why not? We're not allowed to do a lot of things. It's gonna sort through those, right? <laughs> Colors and whites don't mix, Aaron. Okay, thanks. Oh wait, you've never done your laundry before either, have you? Well, maybe I've just never done everybody's. <laughs> That's what I have to do, because I'm the greenie, I'm the new guy, you know? So I have to do everyone's laundry in accordance with prophecy. Really? Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You're way too easy. So I've heard. Well, uh, thanks for the laundry tips. <laughs> Jeez. Well, they're about a thousand miles away over here. How you doing, Green? Good. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. You know, when I was at Green, it was really tough. I used to pray that I would die during the night so I wouldn't have to wake up to another day of this. <laughs> You're joking me, right? But I couldn't take going back to the family, you know, Salt Lake and all. I had two of the general authorities at my missionary farewell. You know what that's like? Your dad's a state president, right? Yeah. They set this thing up to be difficult, okay? 
We can't listen to music. We can't watch movies. We're never supposed to be alone. I mean, come on, we're 19, 20 years old. We're not even allowed to beat off. Some nights I wake up and I find teeth marks on my headboard. Look, I put my time in here so that I can go home, so that I can marry Jennifer, so that I can finally nail her. See? It's amazing what we'll do for sex. Hey, I know you <laughs> did. I did not. I yes, you did. Cross my heart. Oh, what that means? Somebody... Hey, never... we'd like to play here. Yeah, we're playing here. You're just farting around. So vivid. We're playing. See? Bounce the ball. Bounce the ball. No, no, no. You're just jerking us around. There's one afternoon a week where I can just be normal and play some hoop, and you have to come and get all ignorant about it? Oh, would you listen to that, Julie? I didn't think Mormons liked wine. I didn't know fairies like sports. Fairies? Oh, how seventh grade. Why don't we just play two on two? But you're... Girl, so I can't play. But then I am black, so maybe I can. Your only problem is deciding which one of your narrow-minded stereotypes can kick your lily white ass. <laughs> Which you could be. Buy a girl and a bag. We mop you like a dirty floor. Fine. Wear shirts. Your skins. Uh, no. <laughs> Fine, we'll be skins. I played in high school when I learned all the jocks were doing it, but only with other jocks. Maybe we should cut the chatter. Okay, slackers. How's the studying coming? Ryder? Right. All right, 1 Corinthians 7, 1. Ryder! Right, anybody, go. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Well, all right, Green. You know, if Guilford wouldn't be completely heartbroken, you would be my new best friend. Yeah, Harmon, I got your heartbreak right here. Oh, man. Woo! Elder, you got the devil in you. Hey. Ow, oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I snagged myself. Looks like you're bleeding. You okay? Um, no, I'm fine. Just go back to your reading. What? Uh, I think you uh, fainted. I um, I don't bleed very well. I'm okay, really. Um, maybe we should get you inside. And it's gonna hurt them. I'm not gonna lunge at you, just take a look at it. Let's see here. Is it bad? No, it's fine. It's, it's yeah. just a little cut. Oh, ow. Oh. Do you have any um, 
disinfectant. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, you know, I'm not squeamish. In high school, we went to this hospital, but I was the only one who wanted to watch surgery. They brought me in and they scrubbed me down and they put me in these green things, you know? And uh, if uh, bandaids. I watched as they opened this guy's chest, and uh, there it was. You know, this, this heart, this, this human heart. You think about it beating and all, but it's, it's more of a dance. And I couldn't get over that that's all the tethers is to this planet, you know, that fragile little muscle. And it's tiny in the whole scheme of things, you know. And when you think about all the things that can Stop it. There's got to be something else. Some miraculous thing that keeps that valiant little muscle dancing. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking. I need to lay down now. OK. It's hot. I'm hot. Get a cool cloth. This. Yep. It's not. It's okay. Man. This doesn't have to mean anything. Yes, it does. It can be just a little fun between friends. Well, first time can just be a little fun for you. Maybe you can equate sex with a handshake. Okay, that's what, like a badge. What do you want me to congratulate you? Hey, they don't preach to me, okay? I mean, who are you, some kid from the sticks? You come in here, you're gonna fucking judge me? Yeah, yeah, I'm just some doodah -dah pudnacker from Pocatello. They ship us here from Dork Island. <laughs> what? I'm saying I know how retarded you think I am, okay? You found me out, all right? My worst secret. I'm uh, humiliated, so your work is done here. Wait, I don't think you're a dork. But if you know how ridiculous you look, why would you do it? Don't you believe in anything? Yeah. Then tell me. You tell me one thing in your life beyond a shadow of a doubt that you really believe. I believe Anne Margaret has never been given her due as a night actress. Duh. For Tommy alone, I mean... Did you see when she was... But is that something you can build a life on? Look at yourself. You're so pretty and colorful on the outside, but in the inside, you, you're nothing but fluff. You're like... You're like a walking, talking marshmallow peep. That's not fair. It doesn't matter when it's true. <laughs> Can't believe what I was about to do. When there's nothing, Christian, nothing about you that's not skin deep. You believe in God? What? Who are you talking to? You. No, everybody. 
All right, general question. Do you believe in God? You mean other than Madonna? Fucking okay, yeah, I do. Why not? I believe in harmony as a law of the universe like gravity. You know, we're meant to vibrate together. Well, being positive since I was 17 gives meaning to the word miracle, so yeah. I mean, without getting all holy on your ass, I believe. Why? The Mormons are mom fucking him. Oh, honey, you do not want to let them get into your psyche. You start off listening to Amy Grant, but then, before you know it, it's 3 a.m. and you got your Visa card and you're giving it to that scary bitch on TV with the lavender hair. <laughs> you better testify. I mean, hello, Chris, we have a bet going here. It's you convert one of them, remember? Hey, did you forget who you're talking to here? I will bust everyone's tables if I lose this. But let me just say... No, no, let me say. I dated this guy once. Actor, cute, southern, came from this real religious family. Well, his parents found out he was gay, and can you say drama? They sent him to one of those Christian change ministries. Wow, did he change? Did he? Miss Thing used to be a top. <laughs> huh? I'm serious. He's still gayer than a box of birds. <laughs> a box of birds? I love that. How about twirlier than a party dress? But seriously, <laughs> it fucked with him. Well, I'm not being fucked with. It's just... I'm not... shallow, am I? Honey, you don't have to be deep. You, you just have to be... Pretty. Okay, you're not helping. If you have something to prove, be at my house at 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning? Why? <laughs> you have to sacrifice if you want to find yourself. Or whatever it is you're doing. You don't think I'll be there? You might be a superhero. You might be a stone alone. Quit bitching. It's the early bird who gets the worm. <laughs> There's an incentive, especially when you get pizza till 2 a.m. Okay, here's the deal. After your training, I'm gonna set you up on a route. A route? On my first day? It's what you do already. It's delivering food, only this time you're driving. Think of yourself as a waiter on wheels. Great. Over there. Give me some hot pants and roller skates. This will be the fulfillment of a dream. For all of us. I'm a man, I'm a man on a mission. Got the book and the badge and the shine on my shoes. I said there's no use to resist me. When I set my sights on you, I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. Let me guess you're a secret agent. Dressed to stress that you're all James Bondage. You're very staring, but I'm not sure. Hi, we're from the Church of Jesus Christ. Just a moment. Honey? Stacy, you'll want to hear this. What have we here? Project Angel Food. Hello? Hello? I said come in three goddamn times. Sorry. I didn't hear you. Uh, where do you want me to put this? I don't care. I'm not hungry. Okay. Uh, well, maybe I could just turn a light on it. You're not gonna last long if you look that shock with everybody. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this down right over there. So, you got a cigarette? Uh, isn't that an oxygen tank? Couldn't uh, that explode? Boom. That'd be such a terrible way to go, wouldn't it? So, come on. How about that cigarette? Uh, sorry, I. I don't smoke. What are you doing here? I'm delivering your food. I, I thought we'd been through the routine. No, 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 no. I mean you. Pretty boys don't usually do shit like this. What are you, you punishing yourself for something? Feel guilty for being so good looking when there's so many ugly fucks in the world? You get tired of doing reps at the gym? And bragging about your latest conquests and all the rest of your stupid, shallow little life. Fuck you. 
You don't know me. Of course I do. I used to be you. Yeah. I had a career. Friends. Looks. The whole package. But now I'm just a skeletal reminder that we might only be in the eye of the hurricane. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm just fucking with you, man. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I get bored. I'm sorry. I like to rattle the newbies. I must really look like shit. It didn't used to be this easy. Could you just help me with this pillow under me? I don't. I don't know. I can't. Damn, I swear to Christ, my butt has wasted away to nothing. It's too bad because I used to have a killer ass. I did. I got pictures of it around here I'll somewhere. Take your word for it. That's good. Snow. It's all just snow. What did she just say? Maybe, maybe it's the meds, but sometimes I get this weird read on people. Like they're like a blank TV screen. All I see is snow. What do you suppose that means? Nothing. I'll see you. No, you won't. We should go in. Ah, oh, for the love of flipping pee, we're not trapped in a hospital. That's sick, and, and not in a good way. Let's just see if they let us leave some pamphlets in the lobby. And you're dancing solo, cowboy. <laughs> they only allow non-denominational literature in the lobby. What I flip and tell you. Anything I can do? I. Sorry. I don't do this. I refuse to break down in front of strangers when someone dies. I'm so sorry. You should have made me do it. Just turn it off. I. Watching a line on a little screen just go straight. He always said the devil it would be the death of him. You see your husband? <sighs> no. Never my official husband. Probably my, my best friend. His doctor Ben called me and said it was time. This is what he wanted. I should have been prepared for it. I. No, ma'am. Um, I'm a Mormon missionary. Um, we just pass out pamphlets, and, and they give us these discussions that we memorize. I don't even know what to say here. Do you ever read the Sunday comics? The, the comic page. When I was a little kid, I used to put my face right up to them, you know? Um, and I was just amazed because it was just this massive dots. I think life is like that sometimes. But I like to think that from God's perspective, 
life, everything, even this, it makes sense. It's not just dots. Instead, we're all, we're all connected. And it's beautiful, and it's funny, and it's good. You know, from this close, we, we, we can't expect it to make sense right now. Thank you. Oh, keep it. Would you come and see me, please? Drinks around the house? Oh, uh, we don't drink. Well, that must make your church a bit of a hard sell. At times? <laughs> yeah. Just hang on to it anyway. Maybe you come by for a meal? On me? <laughs> I will. Promise? I promise. So, did you have fun talking to the crying lady? Yeah, I did, actually. Good. So we missed lunch. I've seen you guys going out early in the morning. Bet you're wondering where I'm off to. Huh? You're always at the gym? No, I'm volunteering now. Project Angel Food. That's great. What do you want from me? Some sort of merit badge? No, I just... You know, what you said about me, it's not true. Fine. It's not true, and the world's a better place. You're not doing that because of what I said, are you? No. I just thought we could... You thought we could what? Hang out? Be best friends? Right off into the sunset? I don't know. Everyone seems to think that, uh, treat me like I'm... Like you're perfect. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. sometimes. And you're the first person I've met that's made me feel like, what? like, like that's not enough. Like maybe I want to be something more. So I just thought that... Look, whatever you thought, don't. <laughs> colors and whites. We don't mix. All my life I've looked for angels. All this time I've searched for signs. Now I've turned a corner. You're standing. Oh, fuck, I gotta piss. Hallway of first door on your right. I've never been shaken. Never been confused. Always protected. All my affections. The only directions I choose. I don't care. What's your name again? Dirk. Dick? Dirk. Dirk? Your parents named you Dirk? It's really Mort. My friends call me Water Sports Mort. It's not that I don't appreciate what you're doing back there, but could we have a little talk? Talk? Cool. I'm into that. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm your nasty little slut boy. I'm your pussy whore. Are you gonna spank mama's ass cause she's been a bad, bad girl? Uh, that's, okay, that's not exactly what I meant. I meant conversation. Conversation? Why? Don't you ever wanna get to know someone? Have it mean something. Sleep with someone and actually sleep with them. You want to what? 
sleep together? I don't know, man. Isn't that kind of intimate? Excuse me, a moment ago you were licking my spleen, but sleeping with you would be too intimate? Whoa, now you're freaking me out. I didn't know you were into weird shit. I'm just gonna go, man. I've never been shaken, never been shaken, never been confused, never been confused. Always protected, always protected. All, all my affections in only the directions I choose. choose. It's back. Yeah, this must be your lucky fucking day. Mm, or maybe I'm just not suffering enough yet. I didn't expect to see you again. Oh, come on now. You don't think you going all Miss Cleo on me is going to scare me off that easily now, do you? Maybe it's just dementia setting in. Sometimes I read people and I, I think I'm the oracle at Delphi. Well, sometimes I growl at people. It doesn't make me Eartha Kitt. I'm just going to put this right about here. It doesn't matter. I'm still not hungry. I don't remember asking if you were. I just delivered the stuff, remember? But my friend Andrew made this, and he doesn't even cook for his boyfriend, so the least he can do is try and be polite and eat it. I don't have to pretend to be polite. I think I've, I think I've earned that right. Oh, yes, that's right. You're dying. You're bitter. Blah, blah, blah. Fortunately, I'm shallow, so I'm impervious to that. Now eat it. Impervious? Bet you don't know how to spell that. I'm sure I do. Spell bite me. Now, just to show that our little problems in this world don't amount to a hill of beans, I'm gonna read about some people that have some real trouble. Oh, no. Oh. Say it isn't so. What? Well, apparently, poor Pam Anderson has had her breast implants taken out and put back in so many times that her entire chest is collapsing. Oh, they have bikini pictures. Oh, they're horrible! Shut up. Oh, they are. Seriously, they're down to her knees. Eat your chicken, I'll show you. Prick. Okay, give me the fucking magazine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aaron, what happened? Uh, there was an accident. Uh, here, come on. Let, let me help you inside. Ryder and I were tracking, but there was this car that was going just way too fast. I just got a couple of scrapes. Ryder, I should have warned him. You know, they had taken him to the hospital. Thanks, I, I, they happened. I know you were. I was, I was thinking. I wasn't even paying attention. not the only fag here. Okay, look, nothing happened here, guys. We walked in here, and you two were macking like schoolgirls. You're saying nothing happened? Well, maybe you could try and reach down into your little Bible geek soul and be cool for two seconds. I don't think you get to be making requests here, gay don't boy. Don't fucking touch me, asshole. Dude, you so gotta be leaving. Guys, don't blow this out of proportion. It's not that big of a deal, right? Yep, yeah, it kind of is. Please just go. Um, hi. Is, uh, Davis around? 
You're too late, lover boy. You better betcha they're putting your boyfriend's butt on a plane home this afternoon. And now we have to move again. We can't live across from some big doodah flamer homo. Thank you very much. Ah. You stay. Your friend and I are going to have a little talk. I Okay, asshole, the way I see it, you got a big mouth and only one arm to back it up. So how's it gonna look when a big flamer kicks the shit out of you? Right? Tell me where he is. Well, you think I wanted to see him get busted? This might come as a surprise to you. But I actually like the guy. He took this whole thing serious as a seizure. And we were getting through it okay. So why him? Huh? You go fuck him up. He doesn't deserve the kind of grief he's got coming down the pipe. I don't know. Was, nothing was supposed to happen to him. Oh, Pucky. You were gunning for something ever since we got here. And if you want to know where he is, I want to know why. It was... It was, it was stupid. It was just a dumb bet. 50 bucks. It's not about that. I mean, it's not about that at all. Please. You're too late anyway. His flight left ten minutes ago. Hey. Is any help? There's a five-hour layover in Salt Lake. Thanks. To you. How could you leave without saying anything? It's not my choice. I am being sent home in shame. And I'm probably going to be excommunicated. For just a kiss? Don't get me wrong, it was a nice kiss, but hey, come on. We didn't even get to use our tongues. You wouldn't understand. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. See, I've never made a fool out of myself in front of anyone before. But I've never felt this way before about anyone in my entire life. What if I'm just some guy you can't have? And then next week, you're gonna be on to your next conquest. Well, what if you're not? Huh? What if everything in my entire pathetic life, which I happen to love, has led me to this point right now? What if, what if you're the blinding light? in the middle of the road that, that strikes me, like uh, the guy in... in the guy in the Bible. Yeah, him. Paul. Yeah. And what if everything's changed like that? And lions lay down with lambs and colors mixed with whites. What if you're the one that I've been waiting for my whole life and I let you go? It's, you have no idea what I'd be giving up. Damn it. What is wrong with you? You want revelations engraved in gold and angels trumpeting down from heaven. But what if this is it instead? Me telling you I love you right here in the snow. I think that's pretty miraculous. But if you don't, I, I'll... I'll go. You can pretend that this was just some coincidence. You can pretend that there wasn't some reason that we met. And that you're sorry I ever walked into your life.
must have froze shut. You boys come in before you freeze too. Man, they're closing the whole airport because of this storm. Two and a half hours. It's okay, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how long you're supposed to do it. You carry a pocket watch. Oh, it's dumb, huh? It's, it was actually my great grandfather's, but uh, I don't think you came here for a genealogy lesson. <laughs> you know, I thought you'd be a little more reticent. Well, I'm already going to hell for kissing you, so I may as well take the scenic route. What god do you believe in? It's not just God. It's everything. This, you, tonight. I'm just turning my back on it all. But you know, I guess a guy like you really doesn't know what that's like, you know, to be completely cut off. I was 13 years old, my dad. He was this macho, hotshot banker guy. And I was just this skinny little kid who'd been caught trying on his mother's shoes one too many times. <gasps> anyway, my dad said he would rather die than raise a little Nelly boy. I thought I would rather die than be So my dad, who'd never been out of the city in his entire life, decides we're going to go hunt deer. So my dad drags me to this lodge up in the Sierras, right? It's early November. It's the same as now. And there's this storm. Dad was so determined that the little sissy boy was gonna kill somebody. The snow came in from all sides. The air, the sky, the ground, and everyone became the same. The horrible.
going to be okay. You know, I saw my father's eyes. And they were that same. And that's when he did it. Did what? The rat. He didn't come back for you. Uh oh. But I got calm. I was going to die. And that's when I heard it. An angel singing. An angel? It turned out not to be an angel at all. What was it? Just the wind over some rocks. A cave. Inside, at least I was out of the snow, and I guess I drifted off. When I woke up, it was dark. It was still snowing hard, and I heard a noise at the mouth of the cave, like a bear. And it grabbed me and picked me up, and I, and I fought, but I was so weak and, and cold. All I could do was knock the bear's hood off. The bear had a hood? It turned out to be a bear, only in the sense that the search and rescue guy was pretty hairy. <laughs> but that's when it got weird. And not until then? He ripped off all my clothes, and he tore all his clothes off. Sure, you weren't delirious. Then he stuffed us into a sleeping bag. Oh, wait. It's hypothermia. It's, I remember from the Boy Scout exactly. manual. Exactly. But I didn't know what to think. I was so tired. And cold. In spite of it all, I popped the biggest woody. He just wrapped those big arms around me, pulled me into that hairy chest. He told me I was okay. That was the first moment in that whole ordeal I began to cry. I don't blame you. I would have been freaked out too. No. I thought I'd rather die than be gay. I got a pretty good idea of what dying felt like. But lying there in the arms of that man, I thought if this is what being gay feels like. Bring it on. gravitates to the minor key as he navigates his way away from me he claims a guardian for every sailor in the storm but where are the patrons for those left on the shore and as the darkness falls around me takes my hand and starts to pray this is a hymn for all those left behind this is a prayer for every heart left barren this is a call for all the saints to be reminded to sing a hymn all those left behind She only dreams 
in shades of gray these days well, now that the children have all grown and though her husband sleeps just two feet away when she wakes she feels alone come on let's get you home and as the dawn comes through the window She lies awake, tries to recall This is a call for all the saints to be reminded To sing a hymn for all those left Salt Lake. Okay. If you hold your ass all that way, you better tell me you won the bet. I think I'm the loser on this one. Well, hey, hey, hey. Don't let it get to you. Even Tiger Woods laughs now and then. Mm. Fucking Andrew! Is he doing his crackhead telemarketer again? No, he's jerking me around by... Off chance, just you didn't happen to uh, give my demo to anyone, did you? Um, yeah, this uh, angel food guy I delivered to him. He said he was once in the music business, but you know, I thought he might like it. I think he gave it away. To? Oh, Julie, I don't know. I mean, he's on heavy meds and uh, he's loopy anyway. You can't take what he says seriously. Julie, you're hurting my arm. Give it to. Well, who did he you... said he was gonna give it to Clive? Davis? Davis? Clive yeah. Davis. Oh, fuck me. I hung up on Clive Davis. Oh, my God. Answer it. <laughs> no, you answer, answer it. How? Julie, that's the arm that I used. Answer it. Hello? Julie Taylor? Um, so is that Clyde with a D or Clyde with a V? <laughs> Official winners here. Bundle up. Ah, much better. <laughs> so, guess what? This A&R guy from the record company who's being totally coy about which team he plays on. Why don't I introduce you? You can totally nail him and set the record straight. Well, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> mm. Mm. I think I'll pass on this one. Get out. Why? He's totally cute. I'm serious. What's wrong with you? I... You know him? You haven't been yourself since... Wait, are you still not over missionary, man? I don't know. Chris. It's weird with him disappearing like that. Okay. Well then, just stop moping like a schoolgirl and do something about it. Call him. Just dial one eight hundred tortured Mormon. Probably sounds like there are enough of them. But I think that you should just get the hell over it. Maybe I don't want to. I mean, L.A. is a city where everyone dances with one eye on the door, like we're all waiting for something better to walk in. But would we even recognize it if it did? It might be nice to stop circling. It might be nice to stop equating sex with a handshake. Or it might be nice to have it mean something. Listen to you. You are turning into a chick. 
Shut up. <laughs> you are. Wait, Christian, wait. Seriously, you dropped something. What? Your balls must have fallen off around here somewhere. All right, wait, this, let me look. Come this on. is me not talking to you. Okay, wait, but you're still coming to the show tonight, right? As president of the Pocatello Stake, it is my unhappy duty and obligation to convene this church court on behalf of the elder Aaron Davis, the grave and grievous sin of homosexuality. When you are just a child of eight, you were taught you are not to date me. Only one way to heaven, but half a million ways to fall. In the light of your abnormal and abominable state, and your refusal to see that you've been duped into a hogwash alternative lifestyle I, w I wish my shame was enough for both of us not to mention the shame you brought to this church our family our ancestors wait a minute our ancestors dad your grandfather had half a dozen wives same goes for every single person in this room I I'd say we were the original definition of alternative lifestyle. Are you calling us hypocrites? No, we've gone way beyond hypocrisy, Dad. Now we're just being mean. And it's enough, a beautiful day. It's enough, a beautiful day. It's enough, a beautiful day in the land of the free. Thank authority vested in me by the Melchizedek priesthood and in the name of Jesus Christ I have no choice but to begin excommunication proceedings against you at which point you will be stripped of the priesthood the garments and membership in this church Davis is up there. Hi, I'm trying to reach an Aaron Davis. No, not Errol. Aaron. Two A's. Hi, I'm, yeah, I'm looking for uh, Aaron Davis. No, he didn't win anything. No, 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 no. He's he's younger than that. Does he have a Does he have a son named Aaron? No. Yeah, let let me talk to your wife. Hello, yeah, hi, I'm looking for an Aaron Davis. What? The, the, the Davis boy, yeah, that, that, that sounds like him. No, no, he's not in any more trouble. What kind of trouble? I, I'm sorry, no, I'm not trying to pry. Theron Davis, can you spell that? On Stone Creek. Really? Thank you so much. Buck Owens, really? I mean, still run that oh okay well you get back to it now oh okay Th thank thank you Sorry, Brother Davis is down at the Stake Center. Oh, I I'm sorry, Aaron. Um, may I ask why you're trying to reach Aaron? Mm-hmm. Los An Well, um, are, are you one of the elders in, in Los Angeles? No. 
You know what? My son has no desire to speak to you, and I hope you would have the decency not to call here again. Is Dad missing dinner again? Oh, it's nothing. But he sure is late over the steak center. There's no point in this getting cold. If you're just gonna play with it. I don't even know why I'm bothering anymore. Julie! Get out here! I found him. You talked to him? No. His mother hung up on me. Mm, bitch. No, but if he really did not want to talk to me, then she really would not have had a problem putting him on the phone, right? And next time he'll probably pick up. Damn, girl, when you get hung up on, it made me feel so good. <laughs> good, then we are going out because you have been a contrary Mary way too long. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, just a little dropsy. You go on. Mom. Mm hmm. Mom. What, Aaron? What? Uh, it's nothing. I just wanted to see if you could bring yourself to look at me. I'm looking at you. What am I supposed to be seeing? Nothing. His name was Christian, wasn't it? What? Was Christian the one? he do to you? He loved me. Don't say that. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? How repulsive that is to God, to everyone, to men? Men don't love Ari. Women bring love to a relationship. But, but he told me he loved me. He would have told you anything. He, he flattered and beguiled you. Tools of the devil, that's what they do. <laughs> You don't know that. Yes, I do. You don't know that. I do. You know why? Because when you didn't arrive home, I called your mission president. Oh, you checked up on me, huh? I was worried sick about you. And you know what he said? Your missionary companion told him that that Christian person, you were nothing more than a bad maid. That's not true. Yes, no. it is true. He won your soul for lousy $50. That's all you were worth to him. And, and you know what? He's probably forgotten all about you, and now he's moving on to his next fornication. Well, he, he wouldn't. It meant nothing to him. He was using you, and that is why you can never think about him again, ever, ever again. You've got, you have got to put this thing behind you, this horrible mistake that everybody knows about. You've seen how they look at us. You've seen how people just turn their carts around when we walk down the aisle in the market, how they look away at the bank. What if you think your father doesn't come home anymore? What if it's not something I've done? What if it's who I am? Don't say that! Don't you ever even think that! Maybe Heavenly Father can forgive you for what you've done, but who you are, he can never forgive someone.
I, I think I'm gonna heat up that casserole with the cream of mushroom soup. Where are you going? Got some stuff down the church. Now? We just got back. Our son, we just come back from. Good a time as any. Hello? This is Davis. Listen, I know you don't want me to speak with your son. My son? Let me tell you something, you son of a bitch. Thanks to you, my son took a razor to his wrists. Thanks to you, I have lost my son. And I hope you burn, I hope you burn forever! Sit down. Drink that. Mm. Toss it. That way it's medicinal. Good. It's vital for a man to have a couple of slugs in him before discussing heartache. <laughs> I think Hemingway told me that. You knew Ernest Hemingway? Marco, actually. <laughs> but beauties don't always escape tragedy. Oh, God, this is hell. I've done something. I'm guilty. I'll burn for The funny thing about guilt, there's nothing so bad that you can't add a little guilt to it and make it worse. There's nothing so good you can't add a little guilt to it and make it better. Guilt distracts us from a greater truth. We have an inherent ability to heal. Mm. We seem intent on living through even the worst heartbreak. We were in the studio. I can't seem to come up with a song for the single. You? Couldn't sleep. So what, you sit here in the dark? Hey, let's just say, fuck the no carbs thing. Let's go to do cards and eat pancakes till we choke, huh? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go back to bed. Tuesday, 3 a.m. Once again, I can't sleep. It's like I'm waiting for time to fix some part of me that keeps on breaking. I've already thrown out the newspaper and washed the leftover dishes. Nothing to do. Sit here. Think. As a citizen and voter in the city of Los Angeles, it is up to you to decide if you will allow
Where are you going with my goddamn flowers? But they are... We don't throw anything out that's not completely dead. Deal? Deal. And another thing, you gotta quit coming over here and moping around. You're fucking depressing me. I'm depressing you. That's what I'm saying. If we reach the point where you're dragging my day, well then, we got a problem. Seriously. You gotta do something. It's time to make a move. Just find a way to get past this. Are you being the oracle guy now? Davis's mother? I'm Sister Davis, yes. I knew your son in Los Angeles. Oh, you must be one of the elders from there. You, you have that look. No, my name is Christian. He lost his watch. I wanted you to know how sorry I am. It kills me to think that I could have caused him any pain. What? It could be raining. Oh, yeah. It is raining. Only in LA does rain make the news of Operation Storm on. I suppose there's bills in line in that mail. Oh, my God. It's a copy of my video. What? 
about damn time. I've been waiting to see this. Come on, girl, it's been so top secret. Plug it in, let's go. Okay, I don't want you to snap to some judgment. Why? Just some kind of like nasty ass Christina Aguilera's Kanko Rama kind of video? <laughs> or what? No, it's just. Tuesday, 3 a.m. Once again, I'm wide awake, waiting for time to mend this part of me that keeps on breaking. Newspapers I threw away, wash the dishes in the sink. What the fuck? 3 a.m. on Tuesday. That's from my journal. What the fuck is stuff from my journal doing in here? You were the one always telling me to write songs about you. I was gonna tell you or ask you or whatever. I just you knew I'd tell you to go fuck yourself. So you what? You'd steal my most private, personal hell I've been trying to get past, and you you turn around and throw it back in my face? Is that it? I just thought that if something good could come out of this. Oh, for you maybe. Jesus, Chris, I didn't want to tell you. Look, I don't want to tell you like this, but the record label, they want me to move to New York for a while. Because all the hot producers work in the clubs there. Evan. I was looking for Christian. Yeah, um, no, Chris, he's, um, he's not. No, never mind. You want me to give him a message or anything? I heard you didn't get the part. But I'm gonna miss you when you go back to New York. Who said anything about leaving? Come on, you hate LA. Um, look, if you tell anybody that I said this, I will rip your lips off. I was miserable in New York. At least in LA, you could be uh, miserable while you get a tan. Yeah, boy. I was hoping this was still good. Of course it's still good. I didn't have any place else to go. Welcome. Give my young friend whatever he wants. Uh, just a Coke, thank you. Nothing stronger. You look like you would use it. You don't mind me saying you look like, um, hell? Why? 
I didn't come to unload on you. Oh, well, you gave me that privilege once. Let me return the favor. After we, after we met, I was sent home and excommunicated for being gay. Your church doesn't like uh, alcohol or homosexuals. Well, I'm definitely not joining. Can't imagine heaven without both. Sorry, go on. Um, that led me to a uh, brief but disastrous affair with a sharp object. After the hospital stitched me up, my parents put me um, in this place. This facility where they were supposed to change me, they fixed me. This one night, I was on restriction, and I was, um, I was cleaning this floor with a toothbrush. an angel. Because the, the girl who was singing, she's only almost famous, you wouldn't know her, but, um, but I did. And I know people feel this way about certain songs. But I felt like she was singing right to me. my young friend. We've met. I went by your place. I sublet it. Is this? This isn't. He's a great tipper. Darlings, the food's not going to get warmer sitting on the counter. Hot stuff coming through. <sighs> A toast. An affirmation. A prayer. Thanks. I want you to know that wherever we find ourselves in this world, whatever our successes or failures come this time of year, you will always have a place at my table and a place in my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Tracy, could you pass me How's New York? <laughs> yeah, so is it. Sometimes it all still feels like a mess of dots. But more and more these days, I feel like we're all connected. And it's beautiful and funny and good.
might be a superhero. You might be a stone lone ranger. You might be the next De Niro. But I might be a little dangerous too. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I get you're a hardcore rock star. Set to jet on the Concord to London. I'm not impressed with who you think you are. And I'm not a guy who leaves things half done. I'm a man, I'm a man on a mission. Got the book and the badge and the shine on my shoes. I insist there's no use to resist me. When I set my sights on you, I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. Yes, you're a secret agent Dressed to stress that you're all James Bondage You're very staring, but I'm not shaking And I know a couple of rogue tricks myself I'm a man, I'm a man on a mission Stone cold sober from my head to my shoes I insist there's no use to resist me When I set my sights on you I'm a man on a mission Ha, ha, ha.